Good evening. My name is Pastor Steve. Welcome to 7 at 7. This evening, I'm going to be talking about two very powerful forces. One is water and one is fire. If you've ever been standing next to a river that has some rapids and you've uh, heard the roar of that water, or if you've ever been standing next to a fire, a bonfire, and you felt the heat that comes off those flames, there is no doubt that you know that both of those very powerful forces could overwhelm whatever it comes into contact with very quickly. Tonight, we're going to be taking a look at Isaiah 43. And uh, there's a verse within Isaiah 43 that contains both water and fire. So if you have your Bible up handy, or if you have a Bible, go ahead and turn to Isaiah 43, and I'm going to be reading from verse 2. I will be with you when you pass through the waters, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. You will not be scorched when you walk through the fire, and the flame will not burn you. There's one thing that kind of um, is very apparent when you read uh, this verse. It says, when. It says, when. Not if, but when. So these trials in life will happen. It's just a matter of when they happen. The next thing that kind of uh, sticks out here is when you go through. It doesn't say over, around. No, it says when you go through this water. It says, but it will not overwhelm you. So as a believer in Christ, we will have these trials in life. God does not promise to take away these trials in life. God does not promise to change our situation. But what he does promise is that we will not be alone, that he will be there with us. And it says that he will, I will be there with you. So at first, this doesn't really seem like a lot of comfort. Uh, doesn't seem like a lot of help, but as we mature in the faith and as we uh, grow in the knowledge of his word, we begin to really understand what a true gift this is. So as we just simply trust in God, and even though our hearts may be absolutely breaking and we just continue to trust in God, he will bring us through to the other side. Just like his word says, he will bring us through to the other side. And as we get to the other side, we will have a, a deeper confidence in him than we did have before we started that trial. And that will lead to a, different, uh, a deeper faith and a strengthening of that faith and this is something that we can also uh, use to help other people. Because if we went through trials and we see somebody else that is going through a trial themselves, we can say, look, this is what's happened in my life and this is how God showed up and this is how he helped me through this difficult time in my life. And what I had to simply do is just simply have faith and confidence that he would hold true to his word and he showed up in a big, big way and we can just minister to people, those people that God has put around us in our lives. Um, Isaiah 43, 2, the second half of this verse also says, it says, when you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched and the flame will not burn you. It says walk, uh, doesn't say run, doesn't say panic, but it says walk. Walking is something that you do at, at a pace when you're not hurried. Uh, when you're not concerned, when you're not alarmed, when you're not anxious, definitely when you're not burned, when you're not scorched, but you're simply walking. Um, we have no reason to be panicked. We have no reason to be fearful. Um, we have no reason to run um, because we simply can trust in God and we can trust him at his word. Uh, when other people would be running around in, in, in a panic, we can be calm because we trust in what God's word says and what God's word tells us because we've been there and we've done that. We've went through trials before and we simply have trusted in God. Even though it may not make sense to simply trust in God at this very moment, that's exactly what we do because we've done that before and that's what God's word tells us. Just simply trust because he is there. And he said that I will see you through to the other side so we can walk in confidence knowing that he is with us and he will sustain us through these trials just like he has before. So 
What trials are you facing today? If you're a child of God, you can have 100% confidence and knowing that you are not alone. God is there with you and he loves you. If you have yet to put your trust and confidence in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, why not do it today as we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, just great and holy and powerful is your name. We thank you for the, your son. We thank you for the salvation that's found in only him. And if there's anyone who's listening today that has yet to put their trust in him and turn away from their sins, may you simply call them to your son and do a miracle within their heart. Dear Heavenly Father, for the rest of us, may we, that already have a saving relationship with your son, may we simply just grow in our confidence that you are indeed there and that you love us so very much. May we continue to grow in that confidence. May we continue to share that confidence and that faith and that joy with other people. In Jesus' precious name we pray, amen. Good night and I love you.